Hi, what I'll be demonstrating is a script that I wrote which applies an engraving type effect to an image. The script itself makes use of the Image Magic graphics library. Um, best way is to demonstrate that. Um, if we look at the input, this will be the input, the source image I'll be using. So it's a grayscale image. And I'll run the script on that. So I'll use that image as the input and create the output. Uh, it generates some debugging information and that's run. So now we have the output to view. And here you can see the effect of that script having run on that image. So it's, it's like an engraving type effect. It uses three plates, one horizontal and then the other two plates are defaulted at minus and plus 45 degree angles as you can see to create this, this um, wave, wave type pattern on the result. Let me talk a bit more about the script itself. Um, it uses three plates as I say. Um, the anti-clockwise plate um, is rotated at a negative angle and the uh, clock clockwise plate at a positive angle. Um, each of those has a slight offset that's shifted uh, one to the left, one to the right to um, make avoid a moiré pattern and in, in pattern interference in the result. Um, so what I do is to create a line pattern of screen and, and then um, perform a wave distortion on that, that which makes it like a wavy line tile as it were. Then that's tiled across an area which is calculated by a bit of trigonometry working out a bounding box. And then the second and third plates are rotated by a specified angle. And each of those three plates are applied to the source. So we have the base plate, the anti-clockwise and the clockwise plate all applied to the source to essentially generate three separate images and then those three separate plates uh, results from those plates are then combined using a weighted blend okay so the the resultant output is again a grayscale image but it has that engraved look um, to it um, there is a similar idea um, from snibgo and that work involves um, Windows batch files and it's a slightly different approach taken there that a threshold uh, would be taken from the image so you'd have a light, a, a dark and a, maybe a medium uh, threshold applied and then those are uh, combined with a dark and so a bo boolean intersection between the pixels which generates a pure, purely black and white result so mine's actually a, a grayscale output um, there is a difference that you'll see particularly with um, applying a color uh, colorization to an image so what I'm going to do is to take that output that we had and then I'm going to colorize it I'm going to use a uh, particular color lookup table a set of colors a color spectrum as it were applied to that previous result to generate a new result okay and having done that now I'll output will display that output so here you can see that colorized output and what I'll do is to zoom in uh, to that to demonstrate just how that appears once it's been colored in okay so you can see it's, it's rather like currency in a way that it's been colored in um, I can take one step further than that and if I use a um, script from Fred's image magic scripts it has quite a collection of scripts I've got my particular settings for this one which is a um, postage stamp in fact it applies a postage stamp type border and I'll add some text into this as well so we take that colorized output apply Fred's image magic script to that to put in a um, postage stamp border and now let's uh, display the output to that once more 
and you can see the end result. So we had the original grayscale applied by um, three plate uh, lithographic uh, script to give it a um, engraving type effect and then colorize that and now finally apply Fred's Image Magic script for um, creating a postage stamp. Again, and this is the end result of that. So um, if you enjoy that, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.